Over 500 gas plumes have been found to be bubbling up in the ocean along the eastern U.S. coast. U.S. and Canada, of course. So it's not just methane emissions that were found on the west coast. We now have gas methane streaming from the seafloor of the east coast as well. This is on phys.org by Bob Yurka. And uh, this is something new, obviously. Methane streaming from the seafloor we see here, about 1,400 feet water depths offshore. A small team of researchers in the U.S. discovered the presence of 570 bubble plumes along the Atlantic coast of the U.S. between North Carolina and Massachusetts. Well, we know that uh, the area of Massachusetts, because of the latest earthquakes that we've had there, one in Rhode Island and a day later in uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts, and a few weeks ago we had one uh, inland more towards uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and of course Montreal, Maine, uh, New Hampshire, New Brunswick. And we were asking why do we have all those quakes there? Well, we found that there are 30 underwater volcanoes in the seamount off Massachusetts. So those, uh, that seamount and those volcanic uh, areas go all the way into Montreal. Now, these things have been found, 570 bubbling plumes of methane between North Carolina and Massachusetts, and the plumes are believed to be methane seeps. In their paper published in journal Nature Geoscience, the team describes their study of the seafloor and what the discovery of the, plume may mean, the plumes may mean for global warming. The bubble plumes showed up on sonar scans. They were conducted by the team over several outings during the period 2011 to 2013. And when they discovered them, the team took a closer look at several of the plume sources. Some were surrounded by carbonate rock, which would have taken thousands of years to build up, indicating that these plumes have been emitting gas for roughly the same length of time. Other plume sources, on the other hand, were not surrounded by such buildups and were located in more shallow areas, indicating that they began emitting gas much more recently. It's the second type that's of, of concern, the second type, which are the newest. The researchers believe it's possible that a warmer ocean has caused crystallized hydrates to melt, releasing methane that they hold. And that, of course, suggests that the bubbles themselves are filled with methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Methane is known to have been trapped on the seafloor off the east coast of the U.S. after the most recent ice age due to lower sea levels exposing the seafloor. Scientists believe that during that last ice age, the area was covered by wetlands, which of course are known to produce methane as the plants die. And as the ice melted, the seawater covered the area. The methane became trapped by crystallized hydrates because of the chilly temperatures and as the ocean's war ocean warms, that process is reversed, allowing uh, the methane to escape, seeping out as bubbles in the plume. And most of those bubbles don't make it to the surface, but they dissolve into the seawater that surrounds them. That process leads to more carbon dioxide in the water, making it more acidic, which can kill animal and plant life as well. Now, it's not known for sure what exactly is in the bubbles. They've yet to be analyzed, but uh, I, the researchers are almost certain it is mostly methane. If that's the case, if it turns out many of the plumes are new, meaning they are the result of ocean warming, scientists may have to tinker with models and theories that attempt to describe the impact of global warming on both the sea and the atmosphere. And also, earthquakes trigger undersea methane reservoirs, study shows. The earthquakes can rip open subsea pockets of methane, a highly potential greenhouse gas, according to the study by German and Swiss scientists published on Sunday. Now we see this in the, uh, on the west coast, 
and they found more methane plumes there. It's very a very seismic lately. And also the uptick of earthquakes on the east coast. So quakes, quake cause methane should be added to the list of heat trapping carbon emissions that affect the world's climate system, although the scale of this contribution remains unclear. This is what they said. The evidence comes from cores of sediment drilled from the bed of the Northern Arabian Sea during a research trip by marine scientists in 2007. One of the cores has now been found to contain methane hydrates, a solid ice-like crystalline structure of methane and water, and it was only 5.2 feet below the seafloor. Also uncovered were, were telltale signatures from water between sediment grains and concentrations of the mineral called bayrite. And together these suggest that methane had surged up through the seabed in recent decades. Quote, we started going through the literature and found that a major earthquake had occurred close by in 1945, end quote, said David Fisher from the Marum Institute in the University of Bremen. He said, based on several indicators, we postulate that the earthquake led to a fracturing of the sediments, releasing the gas that had been trapped below the hydrates into the ocean, end quote. Now, their search names the culprit as an 8.1 magnitude quake, the biggest ever detected in the Northern Arabian Sea. It ruptured a shallow gas reservoir at a location called Nascent Ridge, according to their paper appearing in the journal Nature Geoscience. Over a likely period of decades, around 7.4 million cubic meters, that's 261 million cubic feet of methane, equivalent roughly to 10 large natural gas tankers, belched to the surface, the authors said. This estimate is conservative, they stress, adding that there could be well, well, well be other sites in the area that were breached, re, breached by this earthquake. Greenhouse gases have both natural and man-made sources. Identified natural sources include volcanic eruptions, which disgorge heat-trapped carbon dioxide as well as cooling sulfur dioxide particles, and also methane from land and thawing permafrost. The biggest human source is CO2 from the burning of coal, gas, and oil, and methane caused by deforestation in agriculture. Methane has become a rising concern in the global warming equation because it is 25 more times more effective than CO2 in trapping solar heat, although it is also shorter-lived. According to estimates published last week in Nature, the lake leakage of 50 billion tons of methane from the thawing shoreline of the East Siberian Sea, part of the Arctic Ocean, which is one of the Earth's hot spots for warming, will inflict costs almost as big as the world's entire economic output. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.